six foods you think are healthy, but really aren't. These days, there's a lot of health trends out there. They claim to be very healthy, promoting only the finest of healthy foods. But you'll be surprised to find out that they really aren't all that good for you. In fact, a lot of them are pretty unhealthy. Which health trends are we talking about? Well, to find out which healthy foods are actually pretty unhealthy, stay tuned. But first, before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Because who else would you believe about unhealthy foods and trends? That's right, your bestie. All right, so let's dive straight into those deceptive food trends. The ones that claim to back health, healthy foods, and getting you into shape, but really aren't all that concerned with your body. Specifically, let's talk about foods that you might think are healthy, but you'll be surprised to know that they really aren't all that good for you. Also, we're going to tell you what you can swap those unhealthy foods you're so surprised about with. So, without further ado, let's dive headfirst into our list of surprisingly unhealthy foods. Number one, yogurt parfaits. All right, say you're on the road or at school or maybe even at work. Actually, pretty much anywhere they sell these deceptive little treats. And you get a case of the munchies. You want to stay healthy. So you think, hey, let's pass on the Doritos. And you grab yourself a little yogurt parfait. Sure, it's more expensive than chips, but how expensive will it be when you have to get your liposuction surgery? Well, hold your horses there, buckaroo. Because those little bundles of seemingly healthy stuff really aren't all that good for you. You'll be surprised to know that those seemingly healthy treats are actually chock full of sugar. Nutrition Stripped says that these mainstays of health trends contain sweetened fruit, i.e. fruit with a simple syrup, and top it with granola, which is typically high in sugar and honey. All in all, the sugar piles up and eventually leads you to crashing in a couple of hours. So unless you want to feel sluggish and tired in a couple of hours, avoid this food trend. What to replace it with? Just make your own. If you know you're going to be hungry on the road, pack yourself some unsweetened full-fat yogurt topped with fresh fruit and homemade granola. Like we said before, sure, it's more expensive than store-bought yogurt parfaits, but how expensive will it be when you have to get your liposuction surgery? Number two, granola and protein bars. So it's after the gym and you don't have time to prepare yourself a full chicken-laden salad. Why not just grab a protein bar? Heck, while you're on the go, why not just pick up a granola or a protein bar? Double heck, why wouldn't you just eat granola and protein bars all the time if they're so darn healthy? Well, you might be surprised to hear this, but those two bars really aren't all that good for you. Go ahead and flip that bar over. Look at the ingredients. Notice how they contain high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated oils? What else contains high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated oils, you might ask? Try diet soda, cookies, cakes, you get the idea. Unhealthy stuff. Just in case you weren't scared off enough, these two unhealthy ingredients can cause weight gain, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and heart disease if you eat them every day. So, in answer to the question, why wouldn't you just eat granola and protein bars all the time, they're so darn healthy? Well, it's because they're actually pretty unhealthy. What to replace it with? Once again, we cannot stress the importance of thinking ahead enough. Pack yourself some trail mix with healthy ingredients in it. However, if you must buy store-bought bars, then look for stuff with unsweetened dried fruit, eggs, whole nuts, dates, whole seeds, and coconut oil. These ingredients are much better for you than high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated oils. Trust us on that one. Number three, sweetened soy and nut milk. There's a quote from a TV show, The Ranch, that calls out the strangeness of the nut milk food trend. We're paraphrasing here, but at some point, Sam Elliott's character asks Ashton Kutcher's character to find him the teat on an almond when referring to almond milk. While that might just be played for laughs, little did they know they were exposing the general unhealthiness of this strange milk. The experts at Nutrition Stripped say that many store-bought nut and soy milk are often high in added sugars and have carrageenan, a food additive from red seaweed used to emulsify or thicken the milk. While carrageenan might seem pretty harmless, it can actually increase your risk of stomach ulcers and glucose intolerance, which obviously isn't very good at all. What to replace it with? 
As much as we'd like to say stick to regular milk, there are a lot of people out there who can't drink dairy who would beg to differ. So if you must drink soy or nut milk, we recommend going out and trying to find something that is unsweetened and carrageenan free. It might be hard to find, but if you really want dairy that much, it's definitely worth avoiding stomach ulcers and glucose intolerance. Number four, veggie spreads and dips. At first, when you're setting up the food for a party or gathering, you'd think of going with the veggie tray. It's healthy, it implies a little more effort than just chips, but doesn't take as much work as, say, a cheese, cracker, and meat tray. Well, hold on, because the vegetables on that veggie tray might be pretty good for you. The dips and spreads might not be. That's because a lot of them contain saturated fats from sour cream, cream cheese, mayo, and other cheeses without additional nutrients. Keep in mind, fats are good, but it's easier to pick something that has both fats and extra vitamins, such as what to replace it with. Luckily, you have a lot of options. You can switch that lame spinach dip with a lot cooler, healthier foods. One of the most popular choices is hummus, but there are a lot of lesser known veggie complementers like other bean-based dips, basil pesto, cashew kimchi dip, sweet onion dip, and cashew cheese. Go crazy! Don't be afraid to experiment. Your guests' waistlines will thank you. Number five, deli meats. When you go to make your lunch for the day, there aren't many options better than a nice, good old fashioned sandwich. It's quick, it's easy, and often it doesn't stink up your lunchroom. And best of all, it's usually good for you. Or so you thought. Yes, it turns out that deli meats aren't, in fact, all that healthy. Most deli meats like turkey, roast beef, bologna, salami, etc. are often loaded with sodium, nitrates, saturated fats, and fillers. There's also the fact that the way the animals are farmed these days isn't good for our, or their, health at all. What to replace it with? Well, the best thing you can do is to go organic, or in the very least, humanely raised. Also, stick to things like turkey breast and chicken, or maybe even eggs. Or if you really want to get out of the deli aisle altogether, try thinly sliced tofu or tempeh, and canned tuna or salmon. Finally, if you're going to make a sandwich, make sure to pile on the veggies and the hummus. As we say, the more the merrier, your stomach is. Number six, veggie burgers. All right, all right, we hear you through the computer. What? You scream in your gorgeous bestie viewer voice? Veggie burgers can be unhealthy? They're like the staple of healthy eating. Well, unfortunately, you're probably wrong. Still gorgeous, cause you watch our videos, but wrong. Turns out that most commercial veggie burgers contain highly processed soy and preservatives, which aren't all that good for you. Try to avoid buying veggie burgers from stores and try to make some at home. What to replace it with? Like we literally just said, you're going to want to make homemade veggie burgers, but what to make them out of? Well, try making your veggie burgers with whole foods, like beans, whole grains, and seeds. There is a great recipe on Nutrition Stripped for a black bean burger that is just to die for. However, it's not just black beans that make up a good burger, but corn, mushrooms, quinoa, and rice all make for good patty substitutions. Really try different things out, and most of all, make it your own. Not only is it a great way to use up all those vegetable leftovers, but if you freeze a bunch, then you'll have veggie burgers for days to come. It's a win-win. And that's it. What did you think of our list? Were you surprised at any of the foods that you originally thought were healthy but turned out to be unhealthy? How about you? Care to share with your bestie viewers some of those unhealthy, healthy foods? How about recipes? Care to let us know a couple of those? Let us know all your health food secrets in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.